Hi guys, Glenn here from Gamer Talk, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna bring you my thoughts on Marvel Spider Man 2. Okay, so what I've done was this was a live stream that I did, and I did a lot of things in this game, but I just thought this was the best part to kind of start in and give you my honest review of Marvel Spider Man 2. Now, don't get me wrong, I love everything about Marvel Spider-Man. I also loved the Miles Morales spin-off, even though it was kind of DLC. I still loved it. Um, let's get into this game straight off the bat. The graphics are absolutely stunning. The mechanics of the game are absolutely stunning. They've kind of rejigged how you can actually start using some of your moves. So you've got an L1 or one kind of move list. I just also want to note on this, the, the feel of the controller while you're in this game is amazing you feel like you're in this game um when you're kind of interacting with some of the the in-game missions and the little mini games and the surroundings um it's absolutely amazing you will feel like you're actually there and you are either one of the spider men what i will say in this game is that the pacing of the story is, is really really good but I do feel a, a small, maybe a harsh critique of this game is that I feel like when you're when you're in the game, you're getting about a five, six to ten minute battle, ten minute being generous, and then you're straight back to a cutscene. It's enjoyable. You feel like you're just getting the swing of things. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of enemies to fight, but when you're getting into the swing of things, then all of a sudden that level's over and you're you're back into a cutscene. As you can just see there, um, as I was playing, you're straight back into a cutscene. Now. The story, I'm not going to give too much away because maybe many people haven't played this game, but you're crazy if you've got a PlayStation 5 and you're not playing this game. But what I will say is I have ran into a couple of glitches in this game and there is one shown in this video as well. Basically, um, I had to restart from certain checkpoints again, which just brought me continuously in the story because obviously I completed it. Um, I've had seen a couple of glitches with the costumes basically coming through the Spider-Man's stomach Um also not showing up and then there is one part in the game where you see yourself in the suit that you've customized and then it goes back to the default suit for peter um i love the spider-man 99 suit that was always my number one he's one of my favorite spider-man so that's my go-to um but then when you're doing a certain level you have to be in your original suit after you've done the cutscenes in your custom suit that you've done so spider-man has always been great for that where you can change your suit on the fly and essentially in the cutscenes it's that suit but that is just me being picky um, because I expect so much from this game and it has delivered just as much as I wanted but don't get me wrong there is one or two little issues within the game I've noticed that when I'm going through some of the cutscenes as well that the the soundtrack of the voiceovers are what was off I don't know if that was just me uh, or maybe other people were suffering with that as well but essentially that's the kind of feel that i got that it was off and i do have a recording of it as well in this level alone i'm fighting and i get caught in a loop where there's a sword in my head and i'm just spinning around and the game is kind of repeating itself and repeating itself i'm not too sure why that happened maybe it's just one or two little bugs within the game but other than that that's the only kind of negatives that i've seen from this game so far so not too much but as a story-based game that's supposed to really captivate you and be stylish, maybe it's not a great thing to be in the game. Okay, all the positives are in the movement, the feel of the joypad, the story itself, the little brother meets big brother jealousy in this story is absolutely amazing. Um, the best friend crossing over with the new best friend, that controversy is amazing as well. So the conflict really, really does build through this game, which is so cool. I am going to throw in a couple of tips in here as well. You might want to go crazy and buy all your suits and start customizing your man like crazy, whatever Spider-Man you want to customize. But I will say be careful on that because you will have to kind of veer off and to build up kind of all your kind of mechanics and trinkets and tech to really kind of upgrade your actual uh, character itself because you need to upgrade your health you need to upgrade your strength your focus um you can easily miss that by just upgrading your perks and your suit um doesn't necessarily mean you're actually upgrading your character so you do need the tech pieces and kind of city challenges and tokens to upgrade your actual character's health strength focus and durability and agility so focus on them as you're going through the game prior to actually opening up 
every suit because they do give you the suits very early on there's a lot of suits that you can get early on and it can be very tempting to start unlocking them and then unlocking the different colors in it as well so you got to be really careful on that so that is just a tip hold on to you get kind of mid game before you start buying all the suits upgrade your character make sure you got strength health focus up as far as you can and then also don't only focus on one on one uh, spider-man when you are using your skill points start off with the duo um skill tree and then start putting your personal preference i've balanced mine now so each time i got a skill point i put one on miles and then i'll put one on peter and then i'll put one um on the duo custom uh kind of skill tree which is pretty cool um at the very beginning you'll probably feel like miles is a little bit stronger well he kind of is in a, on a base level but peter's abilities are really really focused on this game and it's amazing to see how you can use the tech combined with his abilities and then also with the symbiote suit i won't get into the symbiote suit that will be for a later date but as you can see right here guys this is where i get stuck there's a sword in my head and it just constantly repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and repeats and i was just a bit cut thrown off by this it's not the first time it's happened in the game which i'm i really hate saying because it's an amazing game like the amazing spider-man but what I will say is, is that it does happen in the game. I've, and then I've talked to a few friends who've played this game. And yeah. So yeah. Hit a like, hit a subscribe. Hope you enjoyed it.